Valdosta State football team kicked off their 2022 season tonight at home against Kaiser and covering that game for us, a familiar face in the Big Ben in South Georgia, Kyle Logan. Kyle making his way back to ABC 27 after leaving in 2019. After nearly three years, he will be our weekend sports anchor working alongside sports director Allison Posey. Kyle is in Titletown tonight and Kyle, the Blazers opening the season with a big win. Hey, but it feels so good to be back. Tallahassee is like a second home to me. So many good people, and of course, there are so many great sports, including right here in Titletown. And it was a big night here inside Baysmore Hyder Stadium as Valasa State sought to open up the Tremaine Jackson era the right way. So that road back to McKinney, Texas would begin tonight for VSU as they welcomed in Kaiser. A defensive battle in the first half, mid one, the Seahawks looking to strike, looking for six, but Sean Coleman is there with the INT, would lead to three points the other way. To the second we go, State down seven to three, but driving Ivory Durham looking for and finding Ted Hurst, and that would set up this. How about a field goal try from Eston Thiel? And he is good from 38 yards out. The Blazers trailed 7-6 to six at the half, but the guys would come out in the second half on a mission. Early three VSU strikes. Durham to Davey Henderson, and he finds pay dirt. The Blazers go in front 13-7. We'll jump ahead late three now, stayed up 16-14, and Jamar Tompkins the call. He punches it in, and the Blazers lead it 23-14. To, to the fourth, more from VSU this time. How about Seth McKill getting the call, and he goes untouched. That makes it 30-21, to and State would have enough tonight as they go on to win 36-21. to Man, anytime you can win in college football, Regardless of who you're playing or what level and all that stuff, it's, it's always a good deal. Got a lot of things we need to clean up. Uh, it was good for us to be in the situation where we were kind of in a fight. Uh, I think that'll help us later on down the road. Uh, we'll get back to work tomorrow, watch the tape, see the mistakes we made. We played 10 new guys on defense that didn't start in the first game a year ago. Um, you're going to have some you're gonna have some communication deals going on, so we'll get that cleaned up. Uh, but I'm really proud that our kids won tonight. It's been a, lot, it's been a long road the last nine months. We hired staff, we recruited, we've done a lot of stuff. And to finally play a football game, regardless of what the ups and downs, man, we won. So it wasn't a perfect night for Valdosta State, but at the end of the day, a win is a win. And now the Blazers will get a couple of extra days off before they have to welcome in Virginia Union next weekend on September 10th. But for now, reporting from Baysmore Hyder Stadium, I'm Kyle Logan for ABC 27.